Hi, I'm Owen Patty. My name's Sam. My name is Benny T. I am a collector. I would definitely consider myself a collector. I am a collector. A collector? Um, I don't know if there's necessarily, uh, you know, one definition. Someone that buys multiple of something they don't necessarily need. Somebody who really enjoys something and has a collection, uh, a grouping of items, I usually say a five or more. Someone who has a lot of stuff and probably has way too much stuff if you're a collector. I collect band t-shirts, old video games. Shoes, that was my first like addiction. Sneakers. Toys and vintage handheld uh, gaming systems. Action figures, comic books. I mean, I do too much. A favorite thing I ever collected probably would be Pokemon Gold and Silver Special Edition Game Boy box. It's just a box, but it's so hard to come by, and it's just something that is very nostalgic for me. My favorite find that I found recently out thrifting, um, it's a Slipknot button-up shirt. Slipknot's a heavy metal band, obviously. Uh, I collect their t-shirts as well, but... For me to find something like this, it's a lot more unique. It's pretty similar to the ones I used to wear on stage and still do. A band t-shirt that I was searching for for since I was a little kid because it was in the original Ninja Turtles movie. It was a Sid Vicious shirt that Danny was wearing. It was one of the most rewarding feelings is finding that shirt in my size, good condition, wearable. And I, when I finally had it, I just felt like I really did something, even though I just bought a t-shirt. It's, it's an emotion. It's a feeling. It may People may say it's corny or extreme, but it's similar to, um, you know, like feeling emotions of love or death or sadness because it's something that takes you back to a simpler time and puts your heart and soul just in a youthful state again. Like 300 probably, maybe more. I definitely have north of, I would say, 200 probably. Um, yeah, it's it's not good. I have way too many. I just washed like 50 of them. And that was just like a small percentage of ones I've been wearing like for a while. Do you wear all of them? I try to. What would happen if you lost it all? I have lost it all. I actually had a bad flood and lost all my childhood stuff. And it was devastating. It feels like the loss of a loved one, a piece of who you are. I, if I lost everything, I would be just devastated. What would happen if you lost that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt? I mean, I'd be pretty pressed because it's, it's I, I'm looking for it all the time. Like I'll buy multiple, like there's a Godsmack shirt I have that I own three of, you know, the same shirt. So it's, I would own three of that shirt if I could get my hands on it. And if I lost the only one that I have, ah, man, tears, <laughs> real tears. Do you have a message for any other collectors out there? Just stay true to what you like. That's what I would say is the most important thing. If you're a true collector, you're not going to care about the hype. Patience saves pockets. It's a good way to make sure you really want what you're thinking about. Don't be afraid of what you like, embrace it and enjoy it and indulge.